Good evening. Sir Alfred Hitchcock is known to be the most influential and widely known director in the history of cinema. His passion for the art of filmmaking created new techniques, revolutionized and revitalized existing ones. His films have become subjects of countless film courses, psychology courses, and influenced movie makers such as Steven Spielberg and Brian De Palma, among others. Alfred Hitchcock was born on August 13, 1899, in Leytonstone, Essex, England, to a Roman Catholic family. As a young boy, he was mistreated by his parents. For example, when Hitchcock was five years old, his father made the police officers lock him in a jail cell for bad behavior. This created a lifelong fear of police. As a result of his parents' traumatizing punishments, he was inspired by harsh treatment as a theme for his movies. When he was 11, his family moved to Stepney and was sent to St. Ignatius College Boarding School. This school had a harsh use of capital punishment. He attributes his time at St. Ignatius to where he developed a strong sense of fear. After the war in 1919, Hitchcock started writing and working with Hentley Telegraph. He was quickly promoted to the advertising department. The articles he wrote had the themes of false accusations, conflicted emotions, and twist endings. He used the skills he learned from his school and his job to get into the film industry. He began by illustrating title cards for silent movies, but he hastily learned art direction, scripting, and editing at Paramount's famous Players Lasky Studio in London. In 1925, Hitchcock directed and created his first movie called *The Pleasure Garden*. The partnership with a German studio helped Hitchcock mold his style into something much more. In 1929, he produced his first film with audio called *Blackmail*. It became the first successful European talkie. Produced in 1958, *Vertigo* was the first film ever made to use the dolly zoom. The dolly zoom technique involved moving the camera backwards or forwards. While zooming in or out, it creates an effect where the background moves as the subject seems to say the same. Here is an example. Hitchcock also utilized the use of a fisheye lens to visually distort flashbacks and memories of the characters. This also adds to the suspense and discomfort of the audience by creating a visual unbalance. He was the first director to make. Director cameos in his movies. Never before had a director been on screen as a character in their own films. He would continue to do this in most of his other movies. The movie *The Birds* was made in 1963 and was one of my favorite Hitchcock films. The plot of the movie was birds terrorizing and attacking a neighborhood. One of the scenes in the movie I like. Was when all the children get attacked by birds as they try to run away. The German concentration camps factual survey was not fully released until 2017 and was shown twice before, once in 1945 as death mills and again in 1984 as memory of the camps. This disturbing but informative film shows the horror of piles of corpses. The Nazis made and how close the Germans actually lived to the camps. This documentary was used in the post-war persecution of Nazi war criminals at Nuremberg and at Lunenburg, and the site of the trial of Joseph Kramer, also known as the Beast of Belzin. Three months before he died on January third, nineteen eighty. Hitchcock was appointed a Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in the 1980 New Year's New Year Honours, but he could not go to London because he was too sick to travel. So the British Consul General presented him with the papers at Universal Studios. On April 29, 1980, Alfred Hitchcock sadly passed away peacefully in his sleep after directing more than 50 feature films and and. Enjoying a career that spanned six decades.
Most people say that Alfred Hitchcock was the best director of all time. Sir Alfred Hitchcock remains unmatched in his influence and contributions to the film industry as more and more movies are created using his techniques and themes. That was disappointing, wasn't it?